this part is to find Ka at the equivalence point. So first thing you want to do is find the concentration of hydroxide because we're going to use up all the weak acid and so this is actually going to turn out to be our x value in the ice table. So that's just Kw over H3O plus. We know Kw is 10 to the minus 14 and 10 to the minus pH at the equivalence point we have that number. It was 8.76 for the data that we decided on. So that uh, results in this hydroxide concentration. You're going to see we're going to use it in a moment in the ice. For part B, we're going to find the moles of the acetate ion at the equivalence point. That's going to equal to the initial moles of the acetic acid. So what you're going to see, the moles of the acetate ion is the times the total volume. That's the initial volume of the acid plus the volume of base added. And that equals the molarity of the acetic acid times the volume of the acetic acid. So just plugging these in, we got the molarity equals the molarity of the acetic acid times its volume. We have both of those numbers. Divided by the total volume, which we gave you those numbers earlier, we're going to get this number, 0.0585. This is the initial molarity we're going to put in the ice table. So you see it right down here. We got a zero and a zero because we're at the equivalence point. We're going to shift to the right towards the zeros. So we got a minus x and then plus x on these sides. Now the E line is just the sum of the I and the C line. So that's what you see here. And then notice over here to the right, we know x. That's the hydroxide ion concentration. That's this value right there. Uh, it's this number. So when you plug in Kb, which is x squared over the molarity minus x, you're going to put x in there, and you'll get this number for Kb. That's not what we wanted exactly. We want Ka. Ka is Kw over Kb. We know Kw, that's a constant, and we know Kb. So you're going to get a number around 10 to the minus 5 uh, for Ka at the equivalence point.